So this is a quick update on the wiring for my video. So just been wiring this up. It's a lot of wires. Um I've wired it up just to this for the minute just so I can test everything's working. What I've done is change the wiring on the back, swap this wire over with this wire. This one for this one, and then one, this one now is dead. But so the power in goes into the top of the switch. Rather than having a separate switch to power this on, because I don't want that 12 volt sign on all the time, I can actually turn off the power. So the first switch will be the power for this unit now. The second switch is for the spotlights on the roof. Got three of them. Second switch will be for a light this side. Again, once I pull the pattern in, the light will be up here somewhere. Second switch, the second to last switch is for the light that will be wired on this side. And the last switch is for a USB socket I've wired into here. This one is uh, linked to the main car battery in the van already, so I've put another one on the back there. You just wired that in. So when you're in the bed in or, or lying in it or sitting in the back, you can charge it up via the leisure battery. See that clips into the side panel down there. I might swap it over for the higher one actually, so you can easily get to it. See the wires are up there, I just need to tuck them in. And I can carry on doing the paneling on the roof. To cover up the wires and then obviously I put this lights in the right position. So this is going to all go freely back in there. And all I've got to do is earth. I've got an earthing block there. But I haven't earthed it to the chassis yet. I've just gone back to the battery with it. Just so I can test it all. And then um, that's it. So I'll just carry on. Obviously I'm putting wood cladding down here. Once I've done that I can well, fix the light onto where I want it. So I couldn't finish the roof because I didn't want to finish the roof in case I had to change the lights on the ceiling. We'll get to the wiring in anyway. And obviously threading the wires through there, along there and along there. Obviously it comes out down in the hole here. It comes out, I'm going to get some conduit to tuck all the wires in. And they're underneath here, which again they're only clipping up still because I've just only just finished. They come up here. And then obviously this will slip this will slot into there. I so said this is only a three amp hour battery. It's for a fire alarm I think. But I thought it was 12 volts, it would just do just for me to test all the settings and test the lights. And I thought I don't want this draining my battery all the time. You could put a separate switch with the so you have the power from the battery going to a separate switch and then that separate switch going to this. Instead of that, like I said, I just changed the change the um cables on the back of this one. So this so as you walk in now, the first button you walk to in the van will be the power button. And the second one will be the headlights in the top. And then um You've got two side lights and USB. So these USBs on here as well, and a cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter and two USB sockets, I think, under here. It's hard to see that sunshine in there. I can put a link, I got this from AliExpress. I can put a link down to it. It's for a boat, so it's waterproof, I thought, because obviously if you get condensation in the van, then you might. Uh, Obviously you want this nice and dry. Obviously it all comes in with pre-fused as well. So every line in and out, line in, line out sorry, has got a fuse on it so you can put the right amp, amp fuse in there for the things that are on it. Again I've only got really low wattage lights. The spotlights are only 3 watts each. Just warm light spotlights. Can you focus on that? Again, these were only three pounds, I think, off AliExpress, all from China. 
and this is just a really low wattage light. Again, you can screw that into the top. It comes with crocodile clips and things because you can put it straight off the battery, but I cut them off and hide the wires so you can't see them. And I ordered the um, this off the internet as well. Again, it's got an inline fuse, so everything's got its own fuse. I did buy a fuse box, 12 volt fuse box to put all the wires to for their own fuses, but because obviously then I got this with the fuses in it, you can buy these with the cheaper without the fuse runs in it, they're just in and out wires. But I thought I'd rather have the fuses on here, keeps it simple. And that is it. Next, obviously, to wire the solar panel up, still waiting for the solar panel um, plastic cover bit that you draw the holes through the ceiling, uh, roof and obviously clip them on. Put the wires through, I'm still waiting for that to come. It's coming from Switzerland, so it should have been here by now. We did it over a week, well over a week ago. Got the solar panel indoors. I've got an old car battery down there that we'll have to do for now. Well, I've got two old car batteries, one in the garden and one in here. So I can just wire them up temporarily just to check this is, it works and I'm happy. It's working alright at the moment with this little 12 volt, three and a half amp hour sealed battery. It's a rechargeable one so I might try and put that into the system. That's it. So I've just got to tidy up a bit then carry on with doing some of this cladding. Now I know all the wires and I can work. <laughs>